Your mother, um... Your mother says she loves you, too. Goodbye, darling. Josh. I can't, can't do it. Do what? Tell them that their mother's... Help, help me give them their mother. They're just such good kids, you know, I mean, they've already been through so much in their lives. You're a good father, Josh. Yeah, Reva was a good mother. What's a good mother? Oh. I just... I can't uh, tell them that they've lost her again. I mean, they just got her back. Shane, you know, he was just a little baby. The first time, but Mara, she was old enough to feel it. <laughs> and I'll never forget what it was like to tell her that her mother was never... I just, I just never forget the look in her eyes. You're, You're damn right I'm upset! Josh, listen, it's just that I need you to be absolutely certain about this. You have to be sure of your reasons. My, my reasons! I have one reason and one reason only, my children! I, I can't tell them that their mother's gone. This, this, um, clone... Uh, this clone will be an exact, uh, an exact duplicate. Physically, right. yes. Physically, I'm positive that I can produce a healthy embryo that's identical. Uh, uh, do it, Michael, please. Give me back Reva. Josh, you're upset. <laughs> You're, You're damn right I'm upset! Josh, listen, it's just that I need you to be absolutely certain about this. You have to be sure of your reasons. My, my reasons! I have one reason and one reason only, my children. I, I can't tell them that their mother's gone. This, this, um, clone... Uh, this clone will be an exact, uh, an exact duplicate. Physically, right. yes. Physically, I'm positive that I can produce a healthy embryo that's identical down to every mole and freckle on her body. Physically. And she will have Reva's genetic predisposition. I don't, I don't understand. Just speak to me in English, please. Okay. The clone will be born with everything that your wife was born with. Now, what she won't have is Reva's life experience. So she, she may not be anything like Reva at all, then... What we do is we duplicate as much as possible everything that Reva experienced in her life. How can you, poss how can you possibly do that? No guarantees. Josh, this is uncharted territory. But it's the only choice I have. And, and Josh, there's something else that I need you to understand. Once we commit to this, there is no turning back. There's no changing our minds. So with that in mind, are you still with me?
that's what happened. That's why she took off and she doesn't want to see me. She can't see. What are you doing down here? I know, I know that you're upset about your mother's operation. It's probably making you say things that you don't really understand. It's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I'll stay with you. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. No. No. What? Don't do this. This is wrong. This is wrong. You're just taking advantage of me. You're taking advantage of my vulnerabilities. I don't want to do this. You just go away. This waiting is just... <sighs> I know. Oh. Holly was really wonderful to do this for us. She was, wasn't she? Yeah, she wanted to do it. Fletcher doesn't even know she didn't get a chance to tell him. He'll understand. I just can't help thinking. No, what if Maureen doesn't... Honey, don't even think like that. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna be all right. She's a survivor. Yeah. Just like her mama. <sighs> I want you to be clear about this, Josh. This is not just some petri dish experiment that we can discard the moment that you get cold feet. I'm clear. And once I begin employing the chemical that I developed, the aging process will accelerate and the clone will grow very, very rapidly. So you're gonna see some pretty radical changes. And if you're scared, that's perfectly understandable. I'm terrified! I would be a fool to be anything else, Michael! But if you're asking me if I, yes, if I can I, handle... Josh, I'm asking. I believe I can handle anything other than having to tell my children that their mother is gone. Okay. This... Just let me explain how this is going to work. Okay. I will be with her at first. Mm. I will play music for her. I'll talk to her. I'll let her know that she's safe and that she's cared for. And when do I come into the picture? Once she's a full-term infant. <laughs> That's Josh. That is when you come in and you nurture her and you educate her and you talk to her about the details of Riva's life. And that is when you start to create again the woman that you love. The woman I've loved my whole life. I'll tell you something. When she was uh, when she was uh, a kid, oh, she was such a spitfire. She she was really something. We liked her. No, Josh, Josh, I will like her, and you can have this all back again. Josh, this is like reliving your life. No. No, thanks. I don't want to relive my life again. There's there's plenty of things I just as soon uh, leave out. Uh, uh, but we had some incredible times, some fantastic times. So you're behind this 100%? You really want to go for it? sooner the better. What do you think? 
think you're doing, man? Take it easy. I wanted to talk to her. Keep it down, would you, Jesse? How do you know my name? Michelle told me about you. She did, really? What's she saying? Look, let's get something straight. Michelle's here for a reason. You know, it's not hard to figure that out. You're that guy that picked up the phone in the room that night, huh? You're hitting on a blinder? That is absolutely not true. <laughs> I think it's dead on, man. You put on some uh, smooth moves and ended up in her, loom, in her room late. Really late. And that was you over at Cedars down in Springfield. I saw you, man. You were hanging on. No. Over. No? What are you talking about? You got about? it all I saw wrong. You. What do I got wrong? How? Look. You don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. But you and Michelle, man. What are you, taking advantage of a blind I'm not her lover, okay? I'm her doctor. Go away, Ben. No, no you shouldn't be alone. Like, it's better than being with you. I'm not going to leave you. No, I'm not. Please. No. Blake. And if you like me the way you say you like me, then you will leave me alone, please. I can't be around you right now, Why right? not? Because Why you not? confuse me, Ben. How? Tell me. Please just go. All right, all right. Well, then, listen, I'll tell you, because I touched something in you, right? Something you never knew existed, or maybe something you forgot. You don't know anything about me. I know that everyone has needs, Blake. And some of those needs are in conflict with others. But you're not the only person in the world who feels I'm not conflicted like about anything, Ben. I love my husband with all of my heart. Yeah, well, there's more to a person than just heart. And I'm not just talking about physical attraction here. I'm talking about minds and souls that connect on a deeper level. Yes, but Ben, you don't have a soul. I don't think you know a thing about me either, Blake. Then why are we having this conversation? Because you don't want me to walk away this second any more than I want to. Because I get you to feel in a way that you haven't felt in a long time. I have a hold of your imagination, and I have news for you. I'm not going to let go anytime soon. You are so full. I'm full of a lot of things. And you'll get to know them all. Just go to hell, then. Well, only if you come with me. Mother, how is she? Is the baby OK? We don't know yet. I can't take this waiting anymore. This is horrible. I mean, especially someone you love so much and a sweet, innocent child. Mother, it's going to be all right. You know, I mean, whatever happens, everything we're going to get through She's going to be all right. She's she going to be okay. She will. When they wheeled her past, I... Uh, I just wanted to pick her up and hold her and tell her that... Everything was going to be all right, and I couldn't because I had all those wires and tubes and everything, and she just looks so fragile. Everything's going to be all right. I know, I know. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but Dinah, I have some papers I need you to sign now. Uh, okay. It, 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 excuse me for just one second. I'm sorry. It's all right. You're really amazing to be able to focus on business at a time like this. Yeah, well, the world doesn't stop just because a child needs a new kidney. This is insane, Michael. I want Reva back. There's no question about that. But to do it this way, to uh, to grow, uh, uh, clone. The word is clone, Josh, and it's not a bad word. The new Reva, Josh, will be a living, breathing human being, just like she always was. Not some macabre creature stitched together by some mad scientist. Uh, you know, I realize that you're trying to help me out here, but it's just so unbelievable. I know. That is how I used to think about cloning, too. Everybody did. It seems like something out of a science fiction movie, I know. I, I just want my wife back.
want my children to grow up with their mama. I, I want her to be there with them for their first day of high school, and <laughs> I want her to yell louder than any other mom at the soccer games and uh, help Mara pick out her prom dress and, and help Shane through the first time his heart is broken. She can be there, Josh. So you say. How long will it take? How long? Um, from the beginning until she's uh, full grown. Josh, that's going to happen very, very quickly. Probably a few weeks. Weeks? Maybe less. You can't, you can't be serious. You're telling me I'm going to have Reva back? Yes. <laughs> yes. In a few weeks. <laughs> you, you said you had some uh, drug that accelerates growth, but I, I never dreamed. Yeah. How, do, how will you stop it? A few days before she reaches the age that she now is, or was at the age of her death, I stop administering the drug. And that will work. Her metabolic process slows, and that in turn retards the aging process. There's a problem though, Josh, that, that you need to figure out some way to cover for the fact that Reva has been away for so long, some way to explain that. Any other problems I need to know about? No one can know about this. No one. I understand. Josh, if anyone were to find out about this, you have to realize... Michael, no one's gonna find out from me. I, I can't imagine what it would do to my children if they ever found out that their mothers... Uh... <laughs> I, I just... I, I can't fathom what would happen to them. If they... What the hell are you two doing in here? I'm waiting. For what, Alan? For you to tell me what you two are doing in the Spalding lab this time of night. I just had some work to finish up, and Josh just dropped by to say hello. Your work for me, Michael, is finished. I told you I was shutting down this lab, remember? Alan, there's some projects of my own. Some projects of your own on my time? Alan, I, I didn't expect to be paid for them. Well, I hope work. not. And as for this lame store that Josh dropped by to say hello... Well, it comes clear now. So you two have been drinking, huh? <laughs> So what if we have been, Alan? Well, since when did you two become drinking? What we are doing in this lab right now is not your business. It is if He's you're boozing on my property, I, Josh. I just stopped by to check the place out. I'm thinking about buying it for Lewis Oil, Alan. How much do you want for it, huh? Josh, I wouldn't Honey. sell you this if you were the last man on Earth. Oh, you really? Know you don't want to yes. give up the place where you were developing a perfume for the most vile woman Josh, in the I'm world? No, no, get away from me. About Annie. I'll be yeah. damned if you won't. Annie and I would be on our honeymoon right oh. now if it weren't for you and that hag you live with. What did you, you say? Know. I said the hag. Don't what did you, you? You heard You damn no. it. I'll damn you to hell. This is all Annie. your fault. Annie. It's all your fault. No. Annie murdered Raven. She killed her. No. Don't. You're Michelle's doctor? Well, I was. The night that you were on the phone, Michelle didn't know what to do, so she passed me off as her boyfriend. And why you... I wasn't crazy about it either, but she was upset, in a panic, so I went along with it. And why was she upset? Michelle didn't want you to come looking for her, Jesse. Why not? Why didn't she just come out and tell me that she was blind? Do you really have to ask? Yeah, damn straight, I gotta ask. She felt that if you knew she was blind, you'd drop all the things you had going in your own life to take care of her. If I would do that, 
would be because I wanted it to. She wanted you to go forward with what you had going on. She said you were talking about going back to school and you had other yeah, things. Yeah, everything I was talking about is because I wanted Michelle in my life with me doing those things. Look, I tried to tell her that, but she kept saying she'd end up being a burden to you. A burden? I love her. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I've never felt about anyone. What do you care? Well, Michelle thinks you've moved on. Well, I haven't. I think it's time I explained it. Sorry, but you can't do that. <laughs> Why the hell not? I've told you. She doesn't want to see you. She doesn't want to have anything to do with you, Jesse. Who are you to tell me how Michelle feels? I've been working with her for months, okay? I'm only telling you what she's been telling... Well, she's gonna have to tell it to my face, okay? I'm gonna go and let her decide what she wants to do. She made that decision before she even came here. She made it clear to me, to the administration, and to her family. She doesn't want to see you, Jesse. Why not? I don't care that she's blind. I love her, man. <laughs> That's bull, and you know it. What are you talking about? Another woman? That's what I'm talking about. I saw you with another woman. Not once, but twice. At the hospital and outside your own place. Michelle was there, man. She knows you've got a new girlfriend. No, no. Leave her alone. You misunderstood. Leave her in you peace. misunderstood. She misunderstood, okay? You gotta be kidding me. You guys were all over each other. Even though Michelle can't see, she knew exactly what was going you on. You probably filled her in in every little detail. I didn't have to. She heard enough on her own. Yeah, it was obvious you two were gonna spend the night together. Yeah, but we didn't. She thought about it. I thought about it. I thought that she was with some other guy, you. And then Drew came on to me and... Look, just forget about it, man, all right? Now do you see why I'd be stupid, though, to go barge in on her? She's just gonna push you away, Jesse. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Thanks for nothing, Doctor. alone, Jesse. Leave her in peace so she can do what she's got to do to start a new life. You know what I hate about you the most? No, but I bet you're going to tell me, aren't you? The fact that you're always putting Ross down. You can't stand the fact that he's just the best lawyer. Did it ever occur to you that I might be better? Nobody is. <laughs> Such loyalty. Oh, Ben, you're never going to be in this league in any way. This is because you're a liar and a cheat. Abby only took your little plea bargain because you stole the videotape. Is that what you think? Yes, it is what I think, and I'm not going to stop until you admit it. And how is that going to happen? Oh, Ben, you're not as tough as you want people to think you are. That bothers you, doesn't it? What's that? <laughs> the fact that Ross is a good and decent and loving man, and he's admired and respected by everybody who knows him. Everybody doesn't admire him. You're never Ross. gonna get that, Ben. You're never gonna get it because you're just the opposite. 
You are a cold, calculating egotist who's only out for himself. The only person you love is Ben Warren, and the rest of the world be damned. Come with me. Hart, thank you so much for being here with us. I, I really appreciate it. And I know it's not easy for you. I know things are strained, you know, being around Dinah. Yeah, well, I mean, because things didn't work out with Dinah doesn't mean I stopped caring about you guys. We appreciate that. And besides, it's good to see Dinah thinking about somebody else besides herself for a change. I don't know how you do it. I mean, you are able to concentrate like nobody else I know, especially in a crisis situation. Here you are with, uh, with a personal emergency, and you're focusing on business. Yeah, well, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I know, but I heard that your baby sister might not... Um, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, it's okay. Everybody's really worried about that baby, especially my mother. <clears throat> well, of course she is. That's her child. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's a good thing that I didn't need a kidney transplant when I was born, or else I'd be dead. What? No. Yes, you... I would be dead. I would have died because my mother wouldn't have known what was wrong with me because my mother gave me up just a few days after I was born, so it's kind of difficult for me to, you know, cough up a lot of tears over the baby that's going to have everything that I didn't. Hart. I didn't see you there. What are you talking about? Kill. 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 What are you talking about? No! No! Leave me alone! Don't! Shh. No! She... Annie killed... No! Reba's spirit! Her soul! Annie... Killed her soul. Reba was never afraid of anything. Or anybody her whole life. And now she walks around in constant fear that her family is in danger. So, so. No. How much have you two been drinking? <sighs> Alan, he did, just didn't have anything to eat, OK? And just give us a second, and we'll clear out, all right? Fine, fine. Good riddance. And by, by the way, when while you're on your way home to that beautiful Reva of yours, why don't you stop and get another bottle of booze and no, celebrate don't, Annie don't, being just, out of your life? But do it on your own that, property. Because no. this party's over. Get out of here. Get out of here, I said. I, I just need to get, get together a few things. I need to get my cats, Would okay? Would you forget about the cats? I'll call the shelter. Alan, they're mine. This is my property and everything on it. Now, if you're not out of here in 10 seconds, I'm going to call the police. Alan, 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 I am not leaving go. Go. cats in. Michael! No. How long have you been standing there? Oh, long enough to hear you talking to Deborah about your sister. Yes, yes. She was just telling me about the transplant. Uh, yeah, I was just telling her how risky it is and how brave everybody's being. That's right. Very brave. Right. So, um, uh, excuse me for a second. I had a deadline. Do you, is yeah. there anything else for me to uh, say? Yeah, I think you just missed one. Right there. Okay. Just by the X. I'll just... Initial that. Okay. Great. Thanks. I'll uh, I'll call you later and check in. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Take care. I mean, the worst possible time to have to deal with business, but I guess I, unfortunately, can't ignore it completely. What were you really telling Deborah about your sister? I was really telling her, that, you know, just how everybody's praying for her. What did you think I was telling her? You know, I don't know, because it looked like you were very, very angry. Well, yeah, I am angry. I think that it's unfair that an innocent child has to go through something like this. Oh. Yeah. I, I couldn't agree with you more, Tom. Absolutely. I don't think that a child should ever have to suffer. Ever. How is she, Doctor? How's our baby girl? Me. Okay. So, why did you take me here to the nursery? I do. I found it, didn't I? What? 
Your weak spot, your Achilles heel, whatever you want to call it. Eh? You know, as much as you act like you hate him, you want to be more like your brother, don't you? You're the only one who thinks he's perfect. No, I don't. I don't think he's perfect. He's the finest man I've ever known, though. Well, this fine man kept a secret that made me what I am today. This fine man forced me to go through childhood without knowing my family. He denied me what every child on this earth has a right to. He, he denied me my mother. concentrate on now is acting like there is nothing wrong because you almost blew it back there with I, I know I, I... do you think he suspects anything no no I don't I think you got out of it okay what are you um what are you telling your kids I hate lying to them. I swore I'd always be honest with them. I'd always tell them the truth. Sometimes a lie is the only way to save people from unspeakable pain. <sighs> I just hope this works. If we do our jobs right, it will. And Josh, you will have her back. You won't have to. Who's there? Answer me. Tell me who it is. Well, they have several shoulders. Know someone's in here. If you don't speak up, I'm going to scream now. No, no, por favor, no. Who is that? Como? Do you work here? Eh, si, trabajo aquí. I thought your voice sounded familiar. Do you speak English? No, inglés, no, no hablo inglés. Well, my Spanish, uh, mi español es mucho, muy malo, <laughs> horrible. <laughs> You have a nice laugh. Gracias. So you do understand English? Eh, un poco, poquito. Understand it, but don't speak it? Si. What are you doing here? Eh, como? In my room? Sala? Why are you here? Ah, trabajo aquí. Escobo los pisos. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't understand. Eh, sweep. Oh, you're sweeping the floors. Si, si. Good, thanks. But um, next time, knock, okay? Como? N knock, knock. Ah, si. Si, yes, that's it. Yes, si. Si. <laughs> So, um, I'll, uh, see you around then. You know what I mean. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, uh, you work here, right? Yeah, do you need something? How do I go about getting a job here? Tell us how it went, doctor. Is it over? What happened? Was it, uh, was it a success? <laughs> it was a textbook. No problems, no complications. 
Oh. Oh, thank God. It's great. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Right. Reed was stable throughout. Good. I think, I think uh, Blake should be here. Uh, and, and Maureen? Maureen came through it fine. She's holding her own. Her vital signs are stable. Uh, but we still have to wait and see. Wait and see what? Uh, there's a possibility her body may reject the transplant. Well, well, uh, well, how long before we know for sure? Well, it's hard to say. Well, tell us, I mean, give us an idea. Well, the next 24 hours are critical. 24 hours? It's a whole day before we're going to know anything? Uh, well, nothing definite. But as of now, we're cautiously optimistic. Oh, I hate that phrase. I really it just do. doesn't please me to use it, but it is ac accurate. I'm going to stay with you tonight. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Here. Thank you. Well, I, I should get back. Uh, uh, doctor, wait a minute. Now, what would be the first thing? I'm going to stay. You don't have to do that. Um, I'm going to stay for Vanessa. Well, whatever the reason, it's very sweet of you. Well, I can't leave until I know that baby's going to be okay. Thank you, huh? I, I need to, uh, to call Cassie. You go ahead and call her, but she's busy. <laughs> While I'm working on getting you back, you're going to forget about that trip, believe me. Look inside. What do you see? Babies. That's right. Babies with last names. Names their parents gave them. Ross denied me that. For your mother's sake. <laughs> I doubt that. He made damn sure I never knew my real name, my real identity. Do you know what that feels like? Do you have any idea? I was an outcast. And you never got over it. Is that it? That's what all this rage inside of you is all about? You didn't feel like you belonged. You never felt loved. You can spare me the analysis. And you're afraid you're never going to be loved. That's it, isn't it? Josh, you have got to keep this under wraps. Okay? If Alan provokes you again, you have got to be careful, please. I understand. It's just that when I look at... When I look at Alan, I see Annie. A woman who killed my wife. And as much as Alan hates me right now, it's nothing compared to what I feel for him. Josh, you keep that between us, okay? Okay. And soon, you are going to have something much more important to concentrate on. Reva's life, not her death. <sighs> okay. Okay. you two are up to. I'm gonna find out. This has been Guiding Light. Accessories provided by Coach.